you know, bad. And I was like, I just thought that it was, uh, it wasn't necessary. You know, I knew that that was going to happen. And then when she actually was, uh, saw the plane, she, um, you know, we had the Blackberries and she said, I don't like this plane. And I was like, well, don't get on it. And she was like, well, I got to because I got work to do. She got on the plane and she always had a very serious fear of planes in general. Mm -hmm. So she had to overcome a fear to get on that plane on the way there. Um, but what I was really more tight about was that I had heard that Lenny Kravitz had offered her a jet and that Hype had took the jet. So that's what really pissed me off about the situation when I heard about that. So you could ask Hype about that. That's what I said. Have you, ever, have you ever talked to Hype about it? F yeah. And how did that conversation go? Ask him. But I also am asking you. Yeah, but ask him. I feel like you had some things to say to me. Because of my respect for Aaliyah and her family, her music is like it's just coming out, but everyone's very respectful of her memory. No one really speaks on it. Because mm -hmm. that's the circle of people she had around. Her. So out of respect for her memory, I don't say a lot of things. Tell me about that day. Where were you? I was getting my hair cut. And I was waiting for her. So, you know, she was trying to get back really quickly because we were trying to see each other. So she's like, I'm gonna get on the first thing smoking. And that day I was, I waited in the house and I was getting a haircut. And when they told me that there was a crash, it was her mom that told me and they said they didn't find all the bodies yet. So they didn't know she was still alive. But for me, I was like, so it's a wrap. So I hadn't finished my haircut and I took all of her clothes out of my house and everything. And I went to go see her mom because I just didn't want to be triggered. I was not bad.